Hey, this is Victor. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, so in today's video, I wanted to share with you how I was able to double my blog's conversions. So uh, one of the things I like to do is, you know, number one is is keep tabs on what's going on on other people's websites and find out, you know, kind of what are the latest trends, what are people doing, what are they up to, and uh, seeing if I can incorporate that into my own site and then improve my results. And so, you know, thing number one is I like to see what's going out there and, and check those things out. And number two, I like to test them. And I use uh, Google Optimize for that so I can A-B test my website. And so I did a recent A-B test on my blog. And basically, I was able to double my blog's conversions. The number of people who contact me in my lead form was doubled by this simple uh, design change. And so I wanted to share that with you today. Okay, so here's what I did. So the very first thing I do is I go into Google Search Console here, and uh, what I'm trying to do is number one, just establish, you know, kind of what's the most impactful thing I can do to improve my website. So, you know, there's the old 80-20 rule, 80% uh, of your results come from 20% of your inputs. And so as you can see here, uh, most of my traffic comes from this one article I did, which was uh, the six dumbest mistakes smart people make when hiring a website designer. It ranks number one on page, uh, on page one of Google for hiring a website designer and, and many other terms so it's a great article and I get most of my traffic from it and so I was thinking to myself how can I improve my uh, overall conversions for this piece of content so this is the article here and this is the format so I basically have a two column format and I actually took this initial design here uh, from Brian Dean this is his website backlinko and you can see here he has a very similar format my philosophy is don't mess with success find out what other people are doing and kind of model that as well so this is my blog landing page you know quite similar and then this is the individual uh, blog post here so again very similar to his format and so there's a couple things with this. Number one is, you know, I'm putting together a piece of content, uh, number one for Google, but then also for users. I'm trying to get Google to, you know, come to my site and I'm trying to give valuable content to the user who's coming to it, independent of if they want to work with me or not, right? It's just giving good content. Uh, but I also want them to contact me if they have a website project. And so essentially what I'm doing here is I'm adding an advertisement here for my free mock-up. And then if you go all the way to the bottom of the article, I'm also advertising uh, the free mock-up here as well. And then the rest of it is this article. So this was my initial design and my conversion rate was uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, I can actually tell you what my conversion rate is because it was 0.71%. So uh, I was, you know, searching the internet, looking at other people, seeing what they're doing. I noticed that Sam Ovens of consulting.com, uh, number one, does really well with SEO. I feel like he's working on that lately and uh, that he has a different format. So this is his, uh, if you Google the word consulting, um, this is like either number one or number two result, right? So I'm Googling consulting and yeah, this is like the number one result for that word is this SEO article. And then instead of putting the ad on the side or anything like that, he has these little blocks here. And I'll put, I think, two or three of them where he'll have the article and it's, you know, good content, whatever. And then within it, he has these uh, little uh, ads essentially for his program. I think there's three of them. And then they're just kind of interspersed here. And then when you click on it, it takes you to, you know, his sales funnel, right? And so it's the idea of interrupting uh, people within the content and having the ad uh, in that and I thought well that's a great idea let's see if that would increase conversions so what I did is I had uh, my designer developer make a second version of the article so this is the original version here and so this is the uh, same article everything's exactly the same except there's no sidebar uh, and then I put my little ad for this uh, free mock-up offer right here and I put it in here, I think, four or five times So because it's a pretty long article. So I, every every couple of a uh, few paragraphs or so, I'm adding in a little ad that says, get your free mock-up offer. And that's it. That's the only change I made uh, to the thing. And at the very end of the article, again, we'll put the free mock-up offer. So I went into this tool. This is Google Optimize. Google Optimize is fantastic, by the way. If you haven't used it, it's free and it's amazing. And so basically what you can do, there's two different, well, there's lots of different kinds of tests you can do, but the two I use are either one, you're A-B testing a certain page, like changing content on a page, or you're straight up like A-B testing two different pages. So 50% uh, of the time, uh, Google will send them to this, uh, the original article, and the other 50% of the time, they're gonna send them to Hire Web Designer 2, which is this article, which is the single column design. 
And then over a long enough period of time, which was interesting, uh, you can see here the reporting, uh, about a week into it, the original was winning. And uh, I was getting more leads from the original than I was from the new one. And so, you know, kind of your instinct would be, well, I should just stick with that then. But you have to let it play out. You have to let st uh, statistical significance play itself out. And so what happened, I don't know if it's still st statistically significant enough yet, but I think it's close, uh, that we've had 854 sessions on the original, 935 sessions on the variant, and uh, 18 conver eight conversions on the original and 19 conversions on uh, the new one. Uh, so this is my dashboard here. These are uh, slightly different numbers because these are unique users, but you can see here that the conversion rate of the original was 0.7% and the conversion rate of the new one is 1.36%, so almost double. Uh, what's interesting is that the bounce rate is the same and the average time on the site is the same. So it really is just the conversion, but pretty amazing stuff. You can literally double your conversion rate by just making a simple tweak on your website. And obviously that's powerful stuff. These are more leads coming to your business and that is, you know, impactful. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd love to receive a like, subscribe to the channel. If you need help with your website project, please, uh, please visit thomasdigital.com. We offer a free custom mock-up of your new website before you sign or pay for anything. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you in the next episode.